What up troopers of the world? I am inspired here today to create a video for you on this topic for young people of not being able to make money doing what you love. For all the creative people out there who would love to offer something out into the world and stay creative and stay true to that passion that they have and yet live on it. They have this dream of living on that passion, right? First of all, that's what life is about. Let me just lay it out on the table right here, right now. That's what you are here to experience, to do what you love, do what fulfills you, and make money from it. It's the most amazing experience. And you know it. You know that you're here to do that. But there are a lot of things holding you back. Now, let's put that aside. Other than that, there's the, the practical part that we're unaware of, that they don't teach in school, that I want to shed a little bit of light on here. Now, in all my travels and going out hiking and nature, whatnot, there's something that has really inspired me to do this video and coming uh, in contact with a wonderful, beautiful artist or two in the past couple of months and having this conversation. So I was crossing the river, point A to point B. So from one side to the other side, I wanted to cross the river. I found an area where the river was a little bit more shallow and this was not man-made. There were just some stones naturally, right, uh, set from point A to point B that I knew I could uh, slowly but surely hop over and make it to the other side. Now, I'm sure that many of you have also experienced this, whether it was a stream or a river or a brook, whatever it was. When you want to step from the bank onto the stone, you make sure to choose the right stone and choose the right spot on the stone so that you don't slip. And when you feel like you've got a good grip and when you feel like you're stable, then you let go of your other foot and then you pick that foot up and move on to the next stone to place it on. Why? Because this next stone that's going to support you is going to be your anchor so that you don't fall into the river, so that you don't get wet, so that you don't uh, lose time, you don't lose momentum, you don't lose energy, so that you could make it across. That is your support while the other foot is mid-air. It's levitating and it's making its way to the next support. That's why it's called, when you're, when you're mountain climbing, it's called a foothold. Yeah, a foothold. It holds your weight, it supports your weight, it holds your life, your very life. That tiny little hole in the cliff is a foothold and it holds your life while you find the next thing to hold on to. So basically, one foot needs to be stable while the other one is mid-air. Why am I explaining this so darn much? Because that's exactly the way it works when you're building toward your dreams. It's the masculine and the feminine energies. The masculine energy is that security, that tangible bit of money that you keep in your account, that tangible plan that you're seeing in front of you. Now, nothing is going to work out according to plan. Let me rest assured, nothing is going to work out according to the plans that you set for yourself. However, nothing will work out, period, end of story, without a plan. It's just the way it works. Make a plan. And then go into the feminine of letting it go. But make the plan. So the foothold, that rock, and the right spot on the rock, make sure that you are fully supported. Mm -hmm. Now that's, a, that's the best that you can do. Maybe you'll slip and fall. It's okay. You'll get wet. You'll get back on the rock. And now next time, you'll look out more. you have more data. Remember that failure isn't failure. It's a stupid idea. Failure. Okay, I failed. Now I'm just going to stand on this rock forever. No. Failure is data. It's data that's given to you. It's the gift of information that's given to you through trial and error so that the next step that you take is more firm. Okay, now I got it. Now I can let go of my foot. 
Okay, now this one seems to be stable. Now I can let go of the other foot and move forward. So what does that mean? How does that translate for the creatives out there? That means if you've got a job that you don't like, that's the foothold. Now you're going to slowly make your way toward the creative. Yeah, connect with the right people. Um, create and put it out there. Put it out there. You still got your job. You're still eating. You're still making money here. But, but you're reaching for the other thing that you love. No matter what. Even if you're tired, you're still doing this. And then slowly, once this gets consolidated enough and you've got enough food coming out of this, then you begin to release this one. This one might become less full-time, more part-time, fewer hours. Your heart becomes strengthened. You become more confident. That's also the process of releasing this one. And once you're ready, then you move on to making it 10 hours a week and this one 30 hours a week okay so and then slowly you make your way towards your dream this way by taking it baby step at a time and making sure that the step behind you is solid enough for you not to keep toppling over and falling into into the water and I say this from personal experience I say this from personal experience nobody told me this in fact, I had one session, very, very quick session, not like a full call with a coach who told me, look, just do it. Just do it. Just throw yourself into it. And I would never say that to anyone. Never say that to anyone. Yes, just do it. Have faith. That's the feminine energy pulling you forward. Without the straight spine of the masculine, of the secure, of the support, however, it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be, ha ah, la la, going with the wind. And that's just not the way it works. Things move forward. Your dreams become a reality when you've got the masculine and the feminine together. Stepping forward together in this beautiful driven momentum when they're together plans money security alongside faith inspiration and letting go of security accepting change being open to the unknown just throwing yourself into it just do it so to speak yeah absolutely you need to do that you need to do that but it can't be all about the feminine and it can't be all about the masculine because then you'll find yourself in a closed space of fear and never taking never moving forward never taking any risks both of them together make a plan make a plan small plan for next month what can i do okay, i've got everything in check i've got my job the job that i don't like blah i'm, I'm making my monthly salary etc now what can i do that will take me to a percent closer to my dream. How can I have fun with this thing that makes me smile, with this thing that fulfills me, with this thing that, that has my heart beating, with this thing that gets me excited and afraid at the same time? Just 2% for the next entire month, what can I do? Can I create more? Can I take what I have created and put it out there more? Should I create an Instagram account? Should I reach out to someone? What is the next step that I can do in my free time that will give me a whole lot of fulfillment without getting paid? Because my money is coming from the job that I don't like right now. Let that be your next step. That's it. And go with it. And go with it. And keep going with it. <laughs> You can make money with what you love. You're supposed, you're meant to, you're here on earth to have fun with your life. To make money, to live, not to live to make money. And you know it. You know it deep down. Only somewhere along the road, 
some people began to impose their fears on us. Somewhere along the road, we may have forgotten that that's what was the reason why we came here to begin with. It's time to refresh your memory, remember what it is you love, and pursue it. Because that's ultimately what makes life worthwhile and what makes the money that you make that much more delicious. <laughs> Sending you much love. I hope that that helps you. And have an awesome week this week. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me. Either direct message me or drop it in the comments. I would love to be of further service to you by trying my best to answer your questions as best I can. And we'll see you next time.